Hello everybody, this is your boy Drew Jeezy and I am back with you guessed it, another Power Ranger Atlantic Collection review. Today we are reviewing from the thumbnail and the screen as you can see, Mighty Morph Power Ranger Ninja Red Ranger. If you guys have not seen this Ranger before, you're not used to the Mighty Morphin series, this is one of the forms they had close to the end of Mighty Morphin that they get the powers from Ninja was who pretty much besides Zordon created the Morphin grid and he gave them new power so as you notice if you watch the show they transition from saying their um, animal form to their ninja form. So they'd be like White Ranger Power, Blue Ranger Power, and they changed it up because they're about to transition into the Zeo series. So they changed everything up. And as you guys can see as well, this is the old box artwork, not the new one. So this is the last time you will see these figures in this box like this. We can see them through the clear protection, the clear um, plastic, because now everything is closed in. Are you getting a picture on the front? as well so shout out to Hasbro for actually doing those that way I thought that, that was pretty cool as you can see you guys typical Hasbro artwork you see from the back with the pose with the red with the red ninja ranger turned to the side you see the lightning collection of uh, uh, emblem there with the uh, ranger on the side the ninja ranger as he comes around to the front you can see him inside of the box you can see the great picture they have from the Mighty Morphin Ninja Red Ranger and it turns to the side the Mighty Morphin Icon you know the typical things how it's do, man. But enough about this box. I'm going to take everything out of the box, lay it on the table, and we're going to take a closer look at the details. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have, to everything, I have taken everything out of the box. And the first thing we're going to look at is the hands. As you guys can see, typical Hasbro hands. Um, these are more of like a uh, Kung Fu style type um, pose because that's what, that's what it looks like. They don't really carry everything in their hands in the, in the uh, ninja form. Um, I use it for possibility, but outside of that, you guys, you guys know how I am when it comes to these extra hands. I really just don't care. I don't really like them, you know, but that's just me. I've always been like that. I just don't really care for them. Um, we got a great civilian hand. I must say this thing looks pretty much like Rocky. Um, this is one of the way, this is one of the forms they have. So they have three ways of using their ninja forms. They have this form and they have the semi-covered mask. They, when they're actually fighting, they whole face is covered. So this one right here is just a, pretty much when they go back to the like command center and they just outside and they snatch their clothes off and turn them into ranger form, uh, ninja form. I pretty much what this was. So once again, great articulation. I like the mold and the sculpture. I thought it's pretty cool. Um, then of course you have this one like I just described to you. This is the one where they kind of do a lot of talking before they start fighting. They look like this in this form. Um, they gave me this accessory piece, so I'm assuming this goes around. This goes on top of the uh, neck as well. I'm kind of, I think I'm gonna do this for you guys. Doing when I'm showing you the figure, how this, how these three look with the three different head scopes on them, as well. But like I say, man, these things, it's the Ninja Ranger. So, um, nothing too spectacular. If you guys know, if you are a fan of the show, you guys know what they look like. And last but not least, the lightning effect. Um. I'm not gonna lie, as you guys can tell by the voice in my tone, or the tone of my voice, I'm sorry, I don't really care for this. I feel like they should have made it the color of the Ranger, um, but they didn't. It's just like a clear, translucent type um, color, but I do like the new mold. I think the new mold is nice. I think they should have just made it red, and they should have matched every Ranger with their color, because when they do the attacks, they pretty much do the color of their attacks. Um, but you know, it is what it is. This is Hasbro, you know, so they had gotten better. Like I say, with everything over time, I can't, you know, we're going to have to worry about something, no matter what they do. So I'm going to have to worry about something, but these are the accessories you guys for the Ninja Red Ranger. Now for the coup de gras, I'm going to show you guys the actual Ninja Red Ranger figure. And we're going to try on different hand pieces and see what they like. You guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. All right. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have the Ninja Red Ranger on the turntable. And as you can see, first impressions, I like it. I always did like these forms when I watched the Mighty Morphin series. I thought they was pretty cool. Um, it was a, a way to spin it off before they ended Mighty Morphin completely and went to Zeo, as I previously stated earlier. Um, as I take it out the turnstile and get a closer view. Um, let me clear it up for you. Bang, there it is. So I do like I do like it. Um, it looks kind of scary with just the eyes showing, <laughs> but you know, that's what that's what they look like. Um, you see, you got the gorilla. So that's what they was going with when they was going with the ninja forms. They was going off a different animal form. So that's why they stopped using, once again, Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. They kept saying ninja ranger form, blue ranger form, white ranger form. That's what they went to because they were supposed to do that. But something happened and they just didn't go through with certain things. They did a lot of things, but regardless, um, 
flexibility in this arm. Oh man, this is this is definitely definitely an improvement from other Hasbro figures when you try to do the 180 stretch of the arms. I am very, very impressed with that detail. They finally fixed that. I do like that for the most part. I am impressed by that. Um, as for the length of the legs, yes, great, great flexibility all the way around, spinning around real quick. I do like that. So they, they actually improved this. I, I'm impressed. This is very, very different. It's like it's built better. Um, still got double jointed knees, as you can see. Bend it here. Yep. So you still got double jointed knees. Still got the pivot and the ankle, which I do like. Once again, that felt like it's built stronger and better compared to the flimsy part. Or it could just be me. It could just be the male figures are built stronger than the female figures. I'm not sure. Um, when I do a review on the female figures, I would definitely let you know the difference. Um, same thing goes with this one. Great flexibility in a double, double, bend, double knee bend that you have here. The ankle pivot move it here as well. Like I say, it feels like they built them a lot better. Uh, you do have double joint the elbows here. So I like that. It's just everything feels stronger. So I'm glad Hasbro kind of did that. Same thing with the other arm. Um, so it's cool. They are pretty much show accurate. Like I say, good, good chest movement, good bicep pivot here. Bicep pivot here, which is cool for posability with the weapons. They have uh, leg pivots here and here. Once again, great, great for uh, weapon posability. Now, I'm going to try to flip, take this head off and show you the different heads. Oh, and I clearly lost that piece. Um, so, uh, we're going to put Rocky's head on first. Just the civilian head itself. Nothing covered up. So, we might get that joint on there. Okay. So, you know, that's how it looks. Like that. Um, I'm, I, the piece fell on the floor. I get it later. Um, I like it. Like I said, it looks like them. So nothing, no complaints. None at all. I like that. And then you have the ninja form here, which I'm going to put this on. This is like the second stage, I'm assuming. These things are a little tricky to get on. Okay. So, oh, yeah. I like that a lot. That's 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 actually dope. Yeah, I like that. So, no complaints with that. Only complaint is it's hard to get on. Maybe after a while, when I play with it long enough and break it in, uh, it'll it'll go on a little easier. But great lines, nothing's bleeding. I like the way they edit the wrinkles and to make it look like a gi. Um, it doesn't look. It does. It's not the Power Ranger suit. It's actually a gi, so it's supposed to have wrinkles in it and stuff, all the way down to the legs as well. So I like the details they did with this. I think that's pretty cool. Same thing with the back, you know, same here, gold here, no bleeding, everything connects, everything looks good. Got the diamonds here, the diamond on the forehead here, so everything does match. Got the gorilla in the front, got the white tassel belt here. I like it. Everything about it is what it's supposed to be. Uh, now I got to try to get him to stand up again. So everything is what it's supposed to be. So I like it. So that is the, let me clear it up. There we go. So that is in the course he falls. So hold on one second. There we go. So yeah, I mean overall, I like the Ninja Red Ranger. Um, something I should have been had. I waited a while to get these because I kind of was getting other stuff before and I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, my rating for this one, as you guys know, because I do a rating on everything I do, regardless of what it is. Um, I'm going to go with. I'm gonna say an 8.5. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with 8.5. There's a lot of things that I don't like, certain things I do like, uh, but that's just my opinion. Of course, you guys leave a comment below. And let me know what you guys think. If you do have this figure, let me know what you guys think about it. Or if you're planning on getting the figure, you know, let me know what you think from my review, my you know stuff like that. But I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Like I say, it has its flaws, but no no figure on this scale is not gonna be perfect. So. Uh, that's pretty much it you guys that's all i have for this review uh thank you guys for watching the channel watching review if you guys are first time viewers please hit that subscribe button please hit that bell for post notifications please leave me a thumbs up please leave comments i really appreciate it so much you guys know how i do i'm gonna give you guys some um b-roll footage a couple of polls and stuff like that if you see any ranger that i have in my background you guys want to ask questions about it or if you have not watched reviews of any of those four rangers back there please watch reviews i really appreciate it 
Um, that's pretty much all I got. Oh, shout out to my YouTube subscribers. I'm sorry, not subscribers. Inspirations. It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry. Um, CJ on 32, Swipe for Corey, Omni and Hellcat, Tom Jack Carview, Mr. McGarry. Once again, praise up to CG. So cool, man. Get well soon. Hopefully, we'll see you out here back on YouTube again, man. I, you know, I hope you guys get well. Other than that, that's all I got, you guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. But this is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Until next time, you guys.